Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Clark. I'm your criminology teacher. I figured I would do a little introduction video for you so you can at least uh, put a voice and a face to your teacher. Just some basic information about me and uh, you know points and procedures and uh, things that I kind of expect as we move forward throughout the criminology school year. So contact uh, information, the best way to reach me is in the private topic area. I've already posted messages to all students, kind of a little welcome message. I had requested that you respond back and just let me know that you received the private topic message. And uh, most of you have done so. It's also in the private topic area where you were to post your getting to know you questions. And again, many of you have done that already. If you've not done either of those tasks, make sure you do so as soon as you can. If you have an emergency regarding you know, VHS, criminology, whatever it might be, you can uh, request help through the help link or you can call the VH Learning Office with the phone number listed there. It's also posted on the home page. A good avenue for you too is each student has a site coordinator who's based at their local school. So if you have any issues, you may wanna use your site coordinator as your first line defense, obviously, um, I'll try and help you as best you can, but if it's an issue that's uh, kind of tech related for VHS, then that's not something I can probably help you with. Another means of having questions answered or just to getting feedback or just discussing a topic in more detail are through the live video office hours. I'll be holding these the first Wednesday of each month moving forward. Uh, the first one being uh, September 15th. And then that's only because that school year just started, so I didn't want to do it instantaneously. I wanted to at least get into the class. And if you had any questions or things like that, then I can address any early questions or issues you might have. Then October 6th, November 3rd, and December 1st, and they'll be at 8 a.m. Eastern time. I teach in New Jersey at Metuchen High School, which is a centrally located school. And I'm free each day from 7.15 to 9.15. So... That's the only window I really have available in terms of having an office hour type of situation because I do teach five other regular educa uh, history education classes during the rest of the school day. Also keep in mind too that I might be more likely to respond to any questions you might have about criminology or anything like that in that window since I am on my computer at that point in time opposed to when I'm actually teaching and not having access to anything that might be coming in for our criminology class. Generally speaking, however, regardless of what you post to me, I will get back to you in less than 24 hours, usually much quicker than that. Of course, uh, you know, it's kind of dependent upon my schedule. A little bit more about me. I've been teaching social studies classes for over a quarter of a century. So yes, I'm old. Uh, it's really my passion, something that uh, I've always wanted to do since I was back in high school myself. It was one of the best decisions of my life. And one of the uh, historical figures that I most admire is uh, Theodore Roosevelt or Teddy Roosevelt. Some of my hobbies or interests in my free time, I enjoy spending time with my family. I actually live a little bit further south of where I teach near the Jersey Shore. Um, I like to travel, sports, both playing and watching. I also coach sports at the high school level for a number of years, primarily baseball, but I also did coach basketball for a short bit. Uh, my favorite sports teams, are the Dodgers and Rams. I'm basically what you can call an LA fan. Something you have to be mindful of uh, when you're uh, posting in discussion forums or doing any work for me is uh, make sure you're proofreading all your work, especially your post before hitting the post button. And if you do notice an error after you post, you can actually edit out your post. So not only uh, proofread it, but then read it one more time to make sure it makes sense. Keep in mind, this is an academic setting so I don't want to see fragments. I don't want to see, uh, let me make sure you're capitalizing using good grammar and things like that. It's not a text message to a friend or a buddy. You're actually making an academic and educational point in any of the discussion posts you make. Also make sure you're addressing a person in a discussion forum by their name. So if you're talking to, let's say Jim, you say Jim comma or hi Jim if you're post them to them. And every post has to have your first and last name at the bottom, kind of your signature for grading purposes as well. I'm not sure if on your end, there's a system where you can actually put in a permanent signature for yourself. If you can do that, I would certainly suggest that. Also too, in a discussion forum, 
Don't just keep responding to the same thread, kind of create your own heading, kind of maybe the major point you might want to make, or it's a topic of interest. This can help spur additional comments on your post. I modeled and changed a few posts to kind of reflect that in uh, one of the initial discussion forums. I also posted in there kind of the guidelines for how to post in a discussion forum. And I'm not going to take points off the first week or two, but as we move forward, if you're not following the Netiquette guidelines, you're going to start losing points. It's a rubric where I grade your discussion post. I'm just going to check a point or two off for you know, other criteria that you're not following. So it's just kind of a warning moving forward. Week one, it seems that many of you have enthusiastically embraced the start of the class and, very, and posted some interesting information about yourselves. Some logistics, keep in mind that criminology, the work week runs from Wednesday, 12.01 a.m. Eastern time through Tuesdays, 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So if you live in a different time zone, make sure you're making the adjustments and the correlation there to see where the uh, time zone uh, time adds up in uh, your own location. Also, too, always prioritize your discussion work as it kind of serves as our interactive classroom. The other Dropbox assignments that you turn in, they're usually due by the Tuesday 11.59 period of time. But our general discussion forums, they require posts at different points in time. So, for example, today's Friday when I'm recording this. So on a Friday, you should have already posted one initial post of your own in a discussion forum, generally speaking, and made a initial response to one of your classmates. That way we have discussions kind of moving forward for the entire VHS week. Not everybody just posting on Tuesday last minute to get their work in because obviously the purpose of our discussion forums are to have our interaction amongst each other. It's basically our regular everyday classroom. Some of the dumb laws that you've posted so far are obviously living up to their name. Also too, some of your initial tasks in addition to the week one work was to do some of the procedural things in the VHS handbook. So make sure you've acknowledged everything in the VHS handbook. Make sure you took that pre-quiz. These are all point values. So failure to complete some of these, you'll end up getting eventually zeros for that, opposed to earning points. All of these are easy points to get. So make sure you've read through the student handbook, put it at uh, SH.2, student handbook acknowledgements, 10 points for that. The getting to know your questions, I alluded to those previously. Those are posted to me in the private topic area. You could just copy and paste those questions and just respond to them to me. I actually put them on the assignment there within the directions as well. Uh, you should introduce yourself in the discussion area if you've not done, done so already. Make sure you've done that no later than Friday. Be sure to go back in the forum and post back and forth with your classmates throughout the criminology week. This is worth 20 points. The dumb law discussion is worth 20 points as well. Your pretest was worth 10 points. One thing I've noticed, some people have put a have yet to post a photo, or if they have posted a photo, they've not posted a photo of themselves. So make sure you're adding a photo to your profile this week. It, should, it has to be a photo of you, not a cartoon or alternative image. A clear photo, primarily maybe a headshot, would be best. This is a, kind of a way for us to get to know each other, kind of put a face to the commentary that we'll be seeing on the uh, VHS site. If you have any issues posting a legit photo of yourself, please speak with your site coordinator, coordinator at your school and they can maybe take a snapshot of you with their phone and help you to post that up on your uh, VHS page. Some have posted to me in the getting to know you area that this is the first time that you're taking a VHS class or an online class. So the weekly checklist, which is posted at the beginning of every discussion of every uh, lesson week is a great option for you to organize yourself each week. You may want to copy and paste the checklist into a Word or Google document each week and then just kind of check off as you complete each task. If you have access to a printer, feel free to print that out and just kind of keep that on your person as well. Whatever works best for you, you know, you know yourself better than obviously I do. So kind of figure out what works best in terms of organization. But I'll emphasize too that if you are organized and turn in all work on time, you're going to have a great VHS criminology semester with me, you're going to do really well in the class, and you're going to learn a lot as well. The class is interesting, a lot of interesting cases we'll be discussing as you move forward, and uh, the more you put in it into the class, the more you're going to get out of it. All right, so I hope everybody uh, is doing well, has a great weekend, and uh, until next time, Ms. Clark is out. <laughs>